This is just one huge mystery, which I think definitely needs a bit more attention. So Rockstar Games, if you are watching this, I am taking up your request and we're going to see if we can find Jock Cranley in GTA 5 and we're going to see exactly what's going to happen when we bring him over to the ghost. He's obviously the guy who did something to this ghost. We know he definitely lives in Blaine County, so it's just a matter of when we find him. There is a chance that I may just drive past him and not notice him. So if you guys do see him, just comment in the comment section below. Jock, 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 Jock. Where could you be hiding, buddy? I promise we're not going to do anything Anything bad, we just want to see if you are here. There's some people outside there. What's going on, dudes? Just rocking up. You seen Jock Cranley? Anyone seen Jock? Wait, is that Jock? Jock? <gasps> Guys, look! Look, look over there! I think is that him? Is that Jock? If you would like to get your hands on a brand new Xbox One or PlayStation 4, then click the link in the description below to my huge giveaway. Good luck and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today what we're going to do is something absolutely awesome and I can't wait to get into this because I've seen a few comments in the comments of just a few recent videos and stuff asking me to check this out and I can't wait to get into this because I'm pretty sure all of you guys are going to love this video and we're going to do something which no one has done before. And I've seen this in the comments of a few of my videos, especially after we started taking a look at the ghost more and more in GTA 5. And what you guys noticed is that underneath the ghost, there is the word jock written in red. And this is of course the ghost trying to tell us that the person who originally pushed her off the cliff and made her a ghost is called jock. And there's this entire mystery in GTA 5, which revolves around finding jock and uh, basically avenging the ghosts. And to be honest, I think this is going to be awesome because no one has done this whatsoever and imagine if we found Jock Cranley and then took him to the ghost or something that is certainly going to screw with the game and it's going to do something interesting for sure and I've done a tiny bit of research into Jock and I know exactly where he lives I know his entire location as well so we're going to go and search for him and we're going to see if we can find him and take him to the ghost so before we get into things guys I just want to say if you could be ever so kind enough to smash that thumbs up button that would be amazing guys let's try and get our goal of 5,000 likes. You guys get it every single time, so thank you so much for the incredible support you have given this channel lately. But as you can see, guys, we are at the Jock Cranley Ghost, otherwise known as Jolene Cranley, and I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys are familiar with this ghost. If you are not, let me quickly speed up the time. In just six minutes' time, you will see this ghost spawn in. Any second now, guys. Boom! There it is. So there's the ghost. I don't want to go too close to it or else it will disappear. So I'm going to use my object spooner to go a bit closer to it. Uh, but this will only spawn in for an hour between 11 o'clock at night and 12 o'clock at night. Uh, but just underneath the ghost, as you can see, it has the word Jock written in the rock. And this is an obvious thing telling us to go and get Jock and avenge the person who was pushed off the cliff. Because the ghost has just written the word Jock underneath her. So obviously Jock has something to do with this. And this this is just one huge mystery, which I think definitely needs a bit more attention. So Rockstar Games, if you are watching this, I am taking up your request. We're going to take a look into this mystery and we're going to see if we can find Jock Cranley in GTA 5 and we're going to see exactly what's going to happen when we bring him over to the ghost. Let me quickly do some research on this guy. I'm going to quickly search him up on the Safari to see if there's anything in the game. So his name is Jock. Let's just type in Jock. Oh, there it is. Okay, jockcranley.com. So just taking a look at this site, jockcranley.com, if you guys just type in Jock or something, you will find him. It will basically say stuff about him, which is this bit, Jock's pledges and his patriot test, which anyone can participate in, I think. He was once a stunt double in a television show. He absolutely loved being on TV, and now he wants to serve for the country. Uh, let's look at his pledges. Our nation has been sold down the river. Oh, dear. Look at this, guys. Look, there's Jock. Okay, Jock's got his microphone just chilling like, yo, what up? I'm going to do the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know a bit of information about Jock. He's obviously the guy who did something to this ghost. And something interesting, guys, is that the ghost is also called Jolene Cranley. So this ghost was obviously Jock's wife or something. So in case you're wondering where their affiliation is, it looks like the ghost was Jock Cranley's wife. And uh, obviously, something didn't go too well between them. But uh, let me do some more research on this. I'm going to go on Google now, and we'll see if we can find anything. So Jock... Cranley. What do we find? He's alive, so he's still chilling in uh, GTA 5 and stuff. There is an easter egg in Grand Theft Auto 5 where the player can find Jolene Cranley Evans, ghost near Mount Gordo. If the player approaches her, she will vanish, leaving the word Jock written in blood on the rock. Also, when walking around the base of the mountain where Jolene is supposedly meant to fall to her death, one can hear her scream before she dies. Okay, so now we know they were definitely married. I'm gonna go and take a look in Blaine County because that's where GTA Wiki says he lives and stuff, so he's gonna be around that area. So I guess what we're gonna do is 
just go and explore Blaine County and see what happens when we find him. But we're looking for someone who looks exactly like Jock Cranley. So I've got a photo of Jock Cranley and what he looks like on my screen. He's kind of got like a wide head, huge smile. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hit my microphone and uh, let's just go Franklin. Let's go buddy. How's it going dude? You you enjoying you enjoying yourself today? <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> We're just gonna go and hunt for someone who is one of the most mysterious people in GTA 5. Uh, but there's loads of billboards of him. You'll see him on adverts on TV and stuff in GTA 5. He is everywhere, so we should be able to find him. We know he definitely lives in Blaine County, so it's just a matter of when we find him. Oh, okay, we got that guy. <laughs> so now we have a motorbike. I'm going to go and explore around Blaine County and see what we can find. I think we're gonna go around Trevor's kind of house and stuff, because that's the main Blaine County affiliation. Everyone knows that Blaine County is the home of Trevor, so let's go over to that huge kind of settlement where Trevor is and let's see if we can see anyone who resembles Jock Cranley but because no one's done this I have no idea what to expect so it's gonna be interesting either way I've got high hopes guys that we're gonna find Jock Cranley I just want to see what happens when we bring him over to the ghost oh wait is that a police car oh I've got a wanted level are you kidding me I've just done another Google search and it looks like we've got a lot of stuff to explore because Blaine County goes from the top of here all the way from Polito Bay all the way down to pretty much where this main road is I believe just taking a look at this yeah, it's pretty much down to where this road is. And then anything below this is, of course, Los Santos County. Anything above this road is Blaine County. So pretty much along this road is Blaine County. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot to explore, guys. We've got almost half the map to explore. So this is going to be interesting, but I promise you guys, we're going to find something. I've got a photo of Jock Cranley, and uh, we're going to see what happens when we finally meet him. I don't even know where to start, guys. I have no idea. So I think we're just going to chill around this town quickly, and we're going to see if we can see anyone who resembles Jock. We want to find someone who's in their mid-40s, 50s, grey hair, kind of a wide face, huge smile and stuff. Okay, so I decided if we're gonna do this properly, then we may as well get Franklin's buffaloes. But we have a lot of land to explore, so how about these? Nope, I think that's just some woman. Okay. We've got the motel as well. I don't think Jock is gonna be around the motel. I just want to kind of look around the houses and stuff and see if we can find him. So let's just go and take a look around here. But oh boy, guys, we have a lot of stuff to explore in today's video. Oh, we've got loads of people over here. This guy's got some face paint on. You could actually have face paint? He looks... He looks happy. Are any more of you guys wearing face paint? No, they're not Jock either. He could be here though. This, this guy wants to get in my car. What? I want to see if Jock's here. That's all I want to see. Okay, I'm going to go with the benefit of the doubt and say Jock is not there, guys. Let's just keep going. There's some people outside there. What's going on, dudes? Just rocking up. You seen Jock Cranley? Anyone seen Jock? No, okay. I don't think they have. Wait, what? What is he doing? What are the police doing? Are you okay? Are they good? They're, they're just... They're trying to work something out. I love how the guy is just chilling there waiting for the police. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Just push that ATV out of the way. You can do this. Let me take away that ATV for you guys. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now the police car's on. Oh, okay. Where do you want to go? Where are you going today? If you see someone in this video as well who does resemble Jock Cranley, just timestamp it in the comments section below, guys, because there is a chance that I may just drive past him and not notice him. So if you guys do see him, just comment in the comments section below. But let's see. Can we see Jock Cranley anywhere, guys? Oh, wait, there's Ron. Oh my gosh. So what are you doing, buddy? What's he doing? He is putting what looks like... Can I, can I see what that was? Can I just quickly get a sneak peek? Oh, no, it's gone. It's completely disappeared. Okay, so he was doing something with that. Let's just destroy it. All right, so Ron's just waiting for Trevor. It looks like such a fun life, Ron. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to spare you for now, uh, but I'm gonna, I'll am i be back. I'll be back, okay? Let's just keep driving, though. I'm also going to quickly change the time again to midday. Can we see anyone? Oh, we got this place as well. Let's go and check out this place. Jock? 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 Oh, wait, we got some people here. I mean, that guy kind of looks like Jock. I don't think it is because that guy looks a little bit chubbier. But that guy in front of me, he looks a little bit like Jock. I'm going to go up to him and just double check, see if anything happens. I don't think it is, but he looks kind of similar to him. So, how's it going, dude? Oh, wait, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. Oh, he's pushing me away. Just in case, we can't take any chances, guys. He's just taking a rest. <laughs> Pretty cool position to keep him in. But I don't think that was Jock, guys, just taking a look at that. I just realized, guys, there's a boat in the ocean. Imagine if Jock is inside that boat. I spent like 10 minutes trying to get to this boat, and it keeps going all over the place, but now we've got to it. It doesn't even look like Jock is there. He's, he's freaking out a little bit. It's okay, dude. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wait, is that Jock? 
No, okay, it's not Jock. He's kind of got similar hair, though. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for Sandy Shores. I mean, there is the camp over there, but I don't think he's gonna be part of the Lost MC gang, guys. I just realized there's Grapeseed as well, which is just opposite Sandy Shores. So let's go and check out Grapeseed and see if we can see Jock Cranley here as well. There's one dude here. That guy is waiting for the portaloo. Okay, there's a few people on the docks as well. Those two aren't Jock either. Let's go onto the docks and see if we can see Jock down there. Oh boy, this is going to be risky. I'm going to nudge this guy into the water. I don't think this guy is Jock. Oh, oh, he fell in. He fell in. This guy's still enjoying his sandwich like nothing's going on. Grapeseed is so small though, and it's always one of those places you forget about. You don't really think about it too much. Okay, that guy isn't Jock either. We're looking for someone with gray hair, just gray hair. Let's, let's take a shortcut through here. I don't think he's going to be at the ranch. Of course, there's the blown up ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a look at pretty much everything at Grapeseed, and uh, I can't see Jock Cranley anywhere around here. So I guess we're going to go with that plan and go straight over to Polito Bay, and uh, we're going to see if we can find Jock over there. But it was definitely worth taking the detour, because you never know, guys. Jock may have been at Grapeseed, but just taking a look at this, I don't think he is. So let's go to Polito Bay, and let's see if we can find him over there. But this is getting really interesting, because the entire thing is so mysterious, and it just makes me wonder why Rockstar Games would tag that name on a rock if we're not even able to find him. Because I think it would be an awesome some easter egg which Rockstar Games could have easily added in if we could actually find Jock Cranley. Okay, so we've now made it to Polito Bay. This is probably where I'm going to think we can find him. I mean, when I heard Patriotic and stuff, I was thinking Sandy Shore's Grapeseed for sure. But Polito Bay, I mean, I can imagine him being here, guys. I really can. Let's just explore Polito Bay street by street and let's see if we can find him. Now, this place is a bit more busier than Sandy Shore's, so uh, we're going to have to keep a close eye on everyone. So I think we're going to start off on this street and uh, we're going to check every single house first. I think I can see someone. Okay, so we got some people here. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, that's definitely not Jock Cranley. Oh, to be honest, one of these guys has to be Jock Cranley, guys. One of them has to be Jock. I don't think that dude is. Oh, that guy isn't Jock Cranley. That guy isn't Jock Cranley either. We got this dude. Nope, not gray hair. Oh, oh. <laughs> We just jumped into the fence. These guys are too young to be Jock. Oh, wait. We got two people here. We got builders, though. They're just builders. That's not going to be Jock Cranley. Jock, 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 Jock. Where could you be hiding, buddy? I promise we're not going to do anything bad. We just want to see if you are here. Uh, this guy isn't Jock. This guy isn't Jock. That guy isn't Jock. <laughs> okay, so it looks like a helicopter crashed here in campaign. Is Jock here? We've got loads of people here. Oh, no. Now everyone's running away from me again. We've got some more people just chilling here, guys. We got this lady, this guy. This guy as well. Still not Jock Cranley, though. I don't think any of these guys are Jock, either. Keep checking this out. Keep checking this out. I think what we're going to do now is go and check out the beach, because I know there's quite a bit of a walk going along the beach and stuff, but there's loads of people. So let's go and check out that walk, and let's see if we can see Jock along there. This is the walk I was talking about, as you can see. It's just one huge road going along the beach and stuff. So we got this guy in a, in a lorry. But that guy definitely isn't Jock. Okay, so let's just keep going, though. We've got another dude here on a bike. Is this guy Jock? I don't think it is. Okay, that guy isn't Jock, either. There's loads and loads of country walks as well, but I'm not too sure if we want to go along them all. There's so many of them and they're so big. There is a chance he could be in the wilderness, guys. He could be walking or something. And just to show you guys once again, Blaine County involves the entire of Polito Bay. It goes all the way down to this main road here. As long as it's above this main road, it's all Blaine County. So we've explored pretty much everything in Blaine County so far. All of the settlements at least. And so far we can't find Jock Cranley. So I spent the past like 30 to 40 minutes just driving back and double checking everything. But we only explored the settlements. We explored the cities, the towns, where people live and stuff to see if we can find Jock Cranley. And from what I've seen so far, we couldn't find Jock Cranley, although we did find some people who looked very similar to him. But this doesn't mean he's not out there, because of course, it was impossible for me to check every single location within this span of one video. If you guys want to go hunting for yourself, make sure you do so. Now you know exactly who you're looking for. Now you know exactly where he lives and stuff. Just check out the entire of Blaine County. And if you do come across Jock Cranley, let me know in the comments section below, because I wouldn't be surprised if he was hidden in the game. He has to be out there, guys. And I don't think Rockstar games would put this easter egg in the game unless they wanted you to actually physically search for Jock. And considering Rockstar Games gave us an entire in-game website all about Jock Cranley, I just think it's too much of a coincidence. So if you guys want to go mystery hunting, if you guys want to see if you can find Jock Cranley, make sure you guys do so and let me know in the comments section below if you do find anything about him. Because I think this easter egg is much bigger than we thought and I think it's about time we start searching for Jock Cranley. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated 
let's try and get our goal of 5,000 likes, guys. That would be awesome. And uh, let me know in the comments section below anything else you would like to see me do on this channel. It can be another experiment, another idea. Just let me know in the comments section below. And of course, guys, if you want to stay updated with more stuff like this on a daily basis, make sure you hit that subscribe button just below this video. And there is the ghost just making its final appearance for this video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.